Policy moves to arrest higher inflation, such as by appreciating the Sing dollar, are starting to see effects. Importers say it's now nearly 15% cheaper for them to buy from overseas. Still, they're not passing down these savings to consumers as rising transport and labour costs still weigh down their bottom lines. Richard Matthews reports. Iroha is a specialty mart that imports all of its products from Japan. Thanks to a stronger Sing dollar, it now has more purchasing power when buying goods overseas. That means they can sell certain products like this coffee for at least $2 less than local supermarkets. Now, Singapore dollar is quite expensive. It used to be when I do the business at the first place, and SGD was like 100 yen. But now, as SGD become like 100, 105 around. So now I could buy more item from Japan to Singapore. Cheaper item, I would say, some like bottle beverage, it's become cheaper by like 5 to 10%. Even then, some shoppers say they're not really feeling the benefits of a stronger currency. I mean, to be honest, not really cheaper. Um, but here, I think it's the appeal of uh, the quality. Yeah, I think, I think you still get things that are really authentic. Uh, sometimes it is cheaper, uh, depending on the product. But any special products that they have that's direct from Japan, as opposed to another supermarket getting it from a distributor. But even getting produce direct from source hasn't alleviated cost pressures. The Meat Club is an online butcher that imports produce from countries like Australia and New Zealand and sends the orders directly to their customers. Even without paying for a middleman or warehousing, it hasn't translated into cheaper prices. Labour costs are going up, uh, operating costs are going up, uh, freight costs are going up. But on the whole, because everything is, is, is going up, um, that extra margin is, is needed to fund you know, marketing, operating expenses and things like that. So that currency difference isn't necessarily enough to compete with the, the rising costs of, of, of everything else. Still, there may be signs of better times ahead. Headline and core inflation had eased last month in June, with authorities expecting a moderation in the second half this year.